Pleasure to see you, Eivor. I want to see the Alliance map. What awaits in Yorvikshire? Halfdan Ragnarsson, Conqueror of the North, sends his greeting. He wishes to meet with Eivor Wolfkist personally. Halfdan Jarl. I've heard that man's name so often, I feel as though I know him already. He is currently entangled in a war with the Picts of the Northern Hills. I suspect he wants your counsel, or your axe. If you are keen to meet him, he asks that you join him at his war camp. I have the location here. I will go at once. With caution, Eivor. Yervikshire is currently at war with the Picts, a proud clan that lives just beyond the Roman Wall. <laughs> Let's see you, old friend. Battle climbed into the hills. What do you see, Sunan? Hey! Who's that? Everyone all right! Help the wounded and get every man's name. We leave none behind. Well met, Eivor Ray. Now there's a face I've seen before. Faravid, we met in Jorvik, the Yuletide Feast. The Yuletide Massacre, I remember. What brings you here? Alftan Jarl, he summoned me. Is he near? He was, but the Picts hit us hard. We were separated. Fresh attack from the hills. Temple round! Watch your backs! Picts. They won't be happy to see the likes of me. Then they're gone, huh? Lead the way and we'll watch your back. Are you... If we die today, tonight we drink with Odin. Either way, we claim victory! Life, old friend. Once again. I've done Ragnarsson. We met in the forge of battle. Surely a good sign. I don't know you. One of Faroid's new dogs? I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Eivor, yes. Down in Mercia. Kingmaker with my brothers Ivar and Uba and Finir in East Anglia. From the tales I hear, I feared you might be taller. That's not a fear you feel often, I imagine. So you answered my summons. <laughs> but the timing is poor, as you can see. Too many here are spent, battle sore. Thirsty. Faravid, have your men build field pyres for the dead. At once, my yard. Not here, not now. Then 
to Donna Castor for a victory feast! The oldest son of Ragnar Lothbrook, so he says. What do you make of him? Heroic display. He makes a powerful first impression. Just the way he likes it. Welcome to Jorvikshire, friend. Well met, Faravid. I was hoping your Jarl would be as welcoming, but I suppose I must earn his trust. Is that why you've come here? To earn Hafton's trust? To find a seat at his table? I have my own table. What I want is a bond of friendship between the new lords of England. Among whom you count yourself, I suppose? It is an ally I seek, not a master. Well, there is but one lord of Northumbria. and start digging. Tender her soon, I promise. We'll cross them but in spring. Needs me no now. sooner. That is the plan. Yet my people suffer day by day. Your people? Do you rule a shadow king? This war must end. That is my first concern. The time to strike is... Is when I say we strike. Haftar's hammer protects this land. Tell my people that, King Rishia. As you wish, my lord. Who is this? Come closer. Havdan Ragnarsson. My sword arm answers your call. Thank you for your tribute, Eivor Wolfkist. Your battles and deeds are well known to me. And you are the hero of Jorvik. So sing my scalds. Not just any hero. Eivor brought order to the city when King Rishie could not. They say you rooted out a gang of thieves and traitors. Not alone, but I led the charge. The silver Eivor recovered there now pays for our war with the Picts. It is wasted fighting Picts. Should be put to better use. I try never to regret the decisions I make in a time of war. Agreed. To second guess ourselves would only stall the victory. I don't regret sending Ferovid to lead our strike against the Picts, in spite of Eivor winning the day. Eivor and I felled them, Hafton Jarl, so you could sweep in, stab a few cold corpses, and claim a glorious victory. <laughs> Old friend, your jests hit like Odin's spear, always on the mark. I would not be here without your hammer, Great Yard. Please accept this, your share of the loot we want today. A thing of beauty. Hmm. Frankish, I believe. What do you think, Eivor? Wine goblets of a Roman Nihilus. Give me a horn of mead, any day. There's wisdom in this one, Faravid. By your leave, Lord, I must return to my forward camp. It's a long, cold ride. Two-faced, smirking glory hound. My Lord, in your summons you said... Shh. Not here. Not now. Dance, sing, and fill yourself with ale. Then meet me atop this tower of stone. There I will weave a tale of friendship and treachery. A tale as old as the world. Mars. But I... Ah, Eivor. Come. Let me show you a wonder. Oh. 
all this. We conquered this, he and I. Together! You have earned great fame. Won many battles across England. But not alone. No, no. Bjorn Ironside, fearless Uber, Eva the Boneless, Sacred Snake and I. Great warriors all. My brothers. Gold is good, and battle better. But glory never dies. Forever it lives in the Hall of Heroes, high on Valor's steed. Together we have conquered. Together with my friends, my clan. Faravid, above all others. One sword is not an army, Eivor. Even a hero needs loyal friends. I have never lost sight of that. Never. Have you room for one more among those you call friend? What does friendship mean to you, Eivor? Friendship goes beyond words. It is a solemn bond, a chain unbroken. Spoken like the Fowler, it is indeed a kind of magic. You wriggle like an eel in a basket, Hafton. What has caught you? Friendship can also spoil, like rotten meat. After all these years, he dares to bite my hand. Fan of it. He seems a good and loyal man. Seems, yes. As a bright sky in winter seems warm. But rumors fly of little men plotting treason in the dark. Have you proof of his treachery? Not yet. That is where you enter my saga. Prove this for me. Discover if Faravid has been disloyal. Then we shall talk of oaths. Start me somewhere. Give me something to go on. You see this? From a sea unicorn. I filter my mead and wine with it. I've heard of such beasts. They swim below the ice, beyond the world's edge. And their horns protect against poison. You believe Faroin wants to poison you? I fear he has tried. Countless times. And failed them all. You don't believe me, but I know the man. His gifts of wine, his easy smile, his envy, his plots. Learn the truth. Dig up... <coughs> Unearth his treason. Why trust me with such a task? Jorvik, you stopped the ill deeds of Auden and his swarm of rats. You can do the same here. Like a good sword, honor has two edges. I'll help you. Faravid has left the feast already, heading for his camp upriver. Join his warband. And behind his back, dig. And if I find nothing, if he's a good and loyal man. Even better, even better. Fair enough. I'll find what I find, then return, my friend. Don't let Faravid fool you. He is hiding something. That must be Fadovit's camp ahead. Cold and dirty must be the place. Throw yourself in Gunungagap, you bastard! I am not a dog! Yet here you... Fadovit! Ah, Eivor, my friend. Is Donacaster hospitality to your liking? I would be careful calling this one friend, Fadovit. The crow who comes flapping when Haftan gives a whistle. Haftan and I spoke, and what of it? This is our fight, our chance for glory. Fly on home, crow. Lend me a knife, Faravid. This whelp needs gelding. Ofer, piss off.
Small men always talk big. So, was Hafton generous? Did you get what you came for? If I help with your fight against the Picts, Hafton will consider me a friend. So point the way, Fanavid. The Picts raided that monastery, plundered its silver and gold. The Saxons built more churches than barns and filled them with herds of monks. Yes, monasteries make tempting targets, and not just for us. We tracked Pictish raiders heading north. I know the place. A raider sacked Elmet not long ago. Ma. Ah. And then they picked the bones left over from your feast. I'm ready to fight. Let's put them in the ground. Halfdan didn't send you north to fight a skirmish we could win with half our numbers. Why are you here, Eivor? To help you battle the Picts, nothing more. He knows my reputation, and he knows what advantage I bring. You question my word. You never gave it. Then I give you my word, Faravid. I am here to fight Picts. To arms, dogs! Let's roast some Picts! Yeah! Watch for ambushes! Should have stayed in Dorcaster. More mead, fewer Picts. There's no glory in guard duty. Move out! The Picts are just ahead. Lead the way and we'll watch your back. This cave is a passage. The Picts are using it to cross the mountain. A gift for us. You track them through the cave. We'll circle around back and snare any who try to slip away. <laughs> the Picts spoke of Stenway, their camp. That's to the north. Their chief may be there. Stop them, before they reach Stenway! They spotted us! Run, Run forward! Faster! Faster! Ulf! Ulf! Glory for Ulf! That's the last one. The Picts don't raid often during winter. The scouts are dead. The Picts won't know we're here. The Hornets have led us to their nest. More than a chief up there. Looks like the forward camp of an army. But would the Picts dare attack in winter? Hafton thinks not. And the Picts may use that to their advantage. Let's find out. You're on the wrong side of the giant's wall, friend. Have you come to make war in winter? <laughs> Fool! He might have talked! We got what we came for. Is that more Frankish wine? I'll take a few casks. And that silver there! Ulfur, that's Hafton's share. Eivor! Just in time to divide the spoils. Take some meat, if you like. The Picts are at Magnus. 
This map spells it out. Ah, the wolf kissed is a reader. That's Dark Seder I'll never mess with. Worry about the pits later. Now's the time for treasure and spoils. You own it. It should be ours. We did the work. All of it. And nothing for half done. Warming his cock in a Saxon castle. Open that cask and we'll have a taste. We'll celebrate together. Sorry, friend, but that's Hafton's take. You understand. Fair enough. Hafton gets what he's owed. Fuck Hafton! If the Raven wants wine, the Raven gets wine. Open it, Faravid! If you insist, we'll all drink some stinking wine. A little sour, but not bad. I've always preferred ale myself, or spiced mead. What I won't drink is one of Moira's herbal brews. She claims they're a tonic, but there's no telling what she hides in those drinks. Moira? Who is she? She's a herbalist from the north, always skulking in the shadows of Hafton's throne. It's a big throne. Don't you all skulk around it from time to time? Why all these doubts, Eivor? You're a warrior, not a rumor monger. Doubt is too strong a word. But there is a feeling of mistrust among you. I want this alliance to be ironclad. Then let me change your mind. I've got a plan to win this war for good before the winter sets in. Magnus is a strong fort, but we'd be attacking from the south. With speed, we'll catch them off guard. With Halfton's blessing, I'd fight beside you anywhere. Name the time and place. No, Hafton is done fighting for the winter. He thinks it too great a risk. But I say we can win this war before the next snow. If we tell him of this plan, he'll refuse. But if we succeed, you and I together, he'll sing our praises all the louder. There are no secrets in this world, or the next. The Old Father sees everything. We need not fear Odin's eye, only Hafton's wrath. I must return to Danacastra for a time, but I will join you for this battle. Deliver this goblet to my Jarl, he has a fondness for them, and tell him his share of the spoils is coming. When you're ready, find me near Jorvik at a place called the Waltz. Shares the shrinks after each victory, like his cock, eh?